Boxers. boxers. Hope everyone had a terrific weekend. Happy birthday, Mr. Marola. Let's be sure to wish him a happy birthday. Now here's Isis with a quick announcement. Hi everyone, elections are coming up in the next two months and don't forget to vote for the right person. My name is Isis Felix and I'm running for public relations. Don't forget to vote for me. Thank you. Love you. Bye. If you guys find Isis Felix well suited for the job, be ready to vote for her. Now to Juliana and Kimberly with their message concerning the AIDS walk. Hello everyone, I'm Juliana. And I'm Kimberly. Today we are talking about AIDS walk. Sign up and register at AIDSwalk.net. Our team name is A Cross 5. Our team number is 9415. A-Talk is on October 14th. The walk will begin and end in West Hollywood. Please go out and support. Remember, you get 10 volunteer hours if you go. See you there. Thank you. Have a great week. We'll, we'll be, be there, there will, will you? you? This is a quick way to make 10 volunteer hours, which you will need. To the juniors out there, here are your SAT words of the week. Hi juniors, I'm Isis. And I'm Precious. And these are your SAT words of the week. The first word is callous, which means unfeeling. Ever since Johnny and Lisa broke up, he's been really callous. The second word is arcane, which means known by only a few. Precious, do you know that girl named Lisa? Yeah, she's really arcane. Thank you, juniors. Those are your SAT words. Try your hardest to use them this week. Thank you, Isis and Precious. Please, juniors, make sure to attempt to use these words throughout the week. Expand your vocabulary. Now to Mr. Mola with this week's birthdays. Good morning, boxers. Happy Monday. I'm here for this week's birthdays. As you probably have noticed, we have turned over the birthday duties to um, the Social Justice Club, so they will be coming around with your birthday cards and singing happy birthday and your cupcakes. So for this week, we have a very happy birthday to Miss Sandoval on the 10th, Mr. Greco on the 15th, Mr. Brunges on the 16th, and Ms. Preciado also on the 16th. Laura Martinez will turn 14 on the 10th. Simone Ragland will turn 16 on the 11th. Princess Escalante will turn 14 on the 11th. Stephanie Serrano will turn 14 on the 12th. Oscar Aguilar will turn 16 on the 12th. And we have a bunch on the 14th. Uh, Yosemar Hernandez will turn 15 on the 14th. Darissa Mejia will turn four, 15, I'm sorry, on the 14th. Juliana Hernandez will turn 16 on the 14th. Daisy Ortega will also turn 16 on the 14th. And Gilberto Cobian will turn 16 on the 15th. Happy birthday, boxers. See you next week. Damn, look at mom with this gray uniform right here. We do look at it, right? The black jeans. Oh, really cute. Who do they think they are? You guys are not even supposed to be in those clothes. Do you have a uniform shirt on there? Where your box at, mom, brother? You're supposed to be in black jeans. It's Tuesday, not Wednesday. Oh, sorry. All right, sorry. I'll wear my uniform tomorrow. Yes, right. You got to wait till you get your new dress passed. Yeah. Get it, get it together. Happy birthday, everyone. Here are some quick campaign commercials for senior presidents. Okay. Hello, it is me, Dr. Pavel, and I will be interviewing Brian Molares. So tell me, Brian, what makes you a great candidate? Well, maybe you're a candidate that not only, not only am I, um, not only do I know that I'm a great, a great candidate, but I know that I'm, a pos I'm positive that I'm a great candidate because I know how to manage things. I have great communication with students and staff. I'm not trying. I'm not just trying to hear out our 12th grade class. I'm trying to have more activities for, for freshmen. Um, sophomores and juniors, they have a word in everything they in school. Ah, I see, I see, I see. And what makes you better than your competitors? What makes me better than my competitors is that I'm, I, I have more time to manage for school. Um, I, I'm, I'm great at managing time for other things that like, I have. I have more responsibilities to care about, but I'm able to get through all of them. I know I'm honest, and um, just like like just Saturday, this Saturday just had five. We had a car wash. I managed everything and came out. Everything came out really successful. Ah, quite good. Now the most important question. If you like the class president, what would you do for the student body? I know I'm an effective leader. I know I can do things right. Um, we're going to have more activities. We're going to get more involved in the community. Being able to have, um, trying to have more field trips for everybody. Um, part, be, able, be able to part in our community to um, have, um, 
get more more get students more involved in our, in our school, more fundraisers, and being able to have like more um, and like how they do it with cupcakes, all of that. We're gonna have more of that, and I assure you it's gonna be fun, a fun year. Who else can forget about their high school days, right? Ah, indeed, indeed. I remember my high school days. Okay, well, you had it from Dr. Pablo, Brian Morales, a school candidate. Nice meeting you. I you think that's for it. Ah, man. I should be your president because I can offer you those five minutes. I can make the school year so much more exciting. How? Because I have way more connections. I know how to make those events that we fund for more exciting and even the fundraising more exciting like the AIDS walk oh my god it's gonna be so cool this time there's gonna be flyers everywhere we're gonna have lots of things and it's just gonna be more interesting if I'm the president and I have three years of experience not to Hector <laughs> and honestly I would be the best president because who's gonna do the most stuff for your school. Who's going to help you out the most? Someone that only wants the title. Someone that has a couple of good ideas. Or someone that really cares about the school and literally all the people that go here. This girl right here. <laughs> so, I would give you all I could offer, which is a lot. So, <laughs> Hello, it is me, Dr. Pablo, and I'll be interviewing Hector Adam. So tell me, Hector, what makes you a great candidate? Well, being part of Student Council, I have worked alongside previous class presidents such as Danae, and I know how she managed to do things for her class and make a lot of events possible. And I think by following her model of working hard and being persist persistent, that I will be able to be a great candidate. Ah, I see, I see. And why are you better than your competitors? I believe I'm better because I have all the qualifications to be a great leader. I'm honest, I'm sophisticated, I'm respectful, and I'm passionate. I always wanted to be class president. And by being class president, I believe that you need to tr oh. thrive to be the best in order to be now the most important great question. If you elect the class president, what will you do for the class? Well, if elected class president, I will make sure that the students' voices are heard. I will be their voice. They tell me and I'll tell staff and administration what they want. You don't like our lunches? Then we'll fix that. And if we want to have a better prompt for classes 2013, then I will make sure that we fundraise enough money to have the most legend, wait for it, dairy. The most legendary prompt there has ever been in college ready number five. So if you like the class president, I will do my best that we all will have an equal say in what okay, we well want. you heard it from me, Dr. Pablo, Hector Adamant, a class candidate for 2013. Right, okay, well, give me a hug at least. Yeah, what up, boxers? Sub number five. Oh yeah, back on top once again, right here, so college like, ready boom. number five. You know what I mean? Mr. King right here. You know, we got talent competition once again. Come show off your talent, man. You know, if you do drums, guitar, <laughs> trumpet, adi, adi, adi. piano. I don't know. We're going to bring the piano right yeah, here. Right there. Maybe not. Bring them. Bring them. We'll do what we got to do. So, compete. We're going to have the talent show coming in December. Once again, go to Mr. Hernandez. Put your name on the list. We'll come to me. We'll film you. Officer TV News. That's what it is. Raw talent. That's what we're looking for. Do your thing. It's all about you. Your show. Live at it. So with it. Thank you, boxers. Have a terrific week at school. Be safe. Happy learning. And stay cute.